Hello everyone, and welcome to my Scenario Showcase. My name is Rohan J. Raman. I have chosen to talk about global warming for my Scenario project. There are three main things that I wish to cover. First, what global warming is. Second, the causes and effects of global warming. And finally, how to help stop it. The dictionary definition of global warming is a gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere, generally attributed to the greenhouse effect caused by increased levels of carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons, and other pollutants. Let's break this down. Basically, global warming is when the Earth warms up due to greenhouse gases. First, the sun's rays hit the Earth. 30% of these rays ba bounce back into outer space. The other 70% gets trapped in the Earth. It bounces around in our atmosphere and gradually makes the world warmer. This is because the greenhouse gases we use absorb the sunlight. Only small amounts of sunlight are able to make it back to space. Now that we know what global warming is, let's talk about the causes and effects. The main cause of global warming is greenhouse gases. These are created both by humans and nature, but scientists have found that recent global warming has been caused by humans. There are three very important greenhouse gases that impact our world for the worse. The first is carbon dioxide. This is released during the combustion of fossil fuels. We create this by burning coal for electricity, making cement, and through deforestation. Next is super pollutants. Some super pollutants are methane, black carbon, and HFCs. We create these from landfills, agriculture, transportation, and refrigerants. The last one is nitrous oxide. This is also released during the combustion of fossil fuel, but we create this through solid waste. Agricultural and industrial activities, and the treatment of wastewater. There are four main effects of global warming, and none of them are good. The first is increased health risk. Global warming is expected to cause an additional 250,000 deaths per year from malnutrition, malaria, and heat stress. Next is sea level rise. By 2100, over 1.2 million U.S. coastal homes will be at risk of chronic inundation. The third effect is wildfires. The annual area burned in the western U.S. could increase two to six times what it is today by 2050. The final effect is species loss. Just over half of plants and animal species could face local extinction by 2100. Finally, let's talk about how you can stop global warming. There are three things that you can easily do to help the world. The first thing you can do is use less water. This includes drinking less water and taking shorter showers. I personally have been taking shorter showers to help stop global warming. This uses less of our valuable water. When we take longer showers, we use energy to heat our water and keep it hot. When we take shorter showers, we save a lot of energy and reduce our carbon footprint. The second thing you can do is try not to use your washing or drying machines when it is not necessary. You can wash your clothes by hand. I understand that this could be very hard. However, you can also just hang your clothes on a clothesline for, to, to let it dry as seen in the picture. Still, you may not want to do this. If you can't do any of these things, there's one more thing you can do. Instead of using your washing and drying machines when you don't have many clothes in it, use it when you have a full load of clothes. The, full, the final thing you can do is use an alternative for plastic. Plastic hurts the world in many ways. It can kill animals all over the world, and it can also hurt us. Plastic is a very hard product to avoid because it's in almost everything, from food packaging to glue to baby wipes. However, there is one amazing alternative to plastic. This is stainless steel. It is strong, sturdy, reusable, and you can replace many plastic items like lunch boxes with it. This concludes my scenario showcase. Thank you for watching.